In the last video, we saw how to install content ready and Kubernetes, but our cluster is not ready yet. First, let us pull all the configuration related images. This is only required in the master node. This is not necessary and if you don't do it then later when we initialize the cluster it will automatically pull these images but it will definitely help to speed up the initialization process. Here we will be using Calico as a container network interface or CNI instead of Flannel and for that we have to do certain configurations. Now why Calico instead of Flannel? While Flannel is simple, Calico gives us more flexibility of having more security and network administration related controls. Okay, now let's uh, create a file that will contain some networking related information which is required for setting up Calico. Here we need a subnet for the service and the pod network. Again, these are all in the master node only for now. It's always a good idea to run the cube ADM init command with a dry run option so that it will not commit the changes it will show you if there is any error and it will show if everything went uh, successfully so now let's do it this needs to be done in the master node only Looks like everything went successfully, but I saw some warning web up. Okay, so it's complaining about uh, the configuration file and that is using one deprecated API. So using this command, we can actually migrate it to a new configuration file which I will be doing okay, so now let's prepare the command actually so this is our whole configuration file This will be our new configuration file. So we will put a new client. And we need to do a sudo as well. Open our new configuration to verify once. Okay, so they have changed something and migrated to v1 beta 3. Okay, now we need to do the dry run with this new configuration. So I just copy this command. Okay, looks like everything went successfully. So we can now run the actual command with the new configuration file, of course.
please note down the output as you might need them later. Bear in mind that the joint command contains some secret information and if you expose them then anyone in your network can join your cluster. Also let's copy the config file in our user's home directory so that our normal user can execute qctl command. This config file contains a security key certificate hence it should be protected. The instructions are already given here so let's follow them. Now our worker nodes can join the cluster. So we need to copy the join command and run it on all of the worker nodes. Here I have three worker nodes. But before that, let me verify that IP addresses are different. This is actually our default interface. So everything will go by this network. So it was 100 here, 100 one here, 100 two. This is not actually using DHCP, so it's not getting the IP address automatically from my router. I have set it up static IP address for four of this VM. This is really important. So now we can uh, use the join command that was generated. So I did a mistake there actually, I forgot to copy the join command. So this is the command to generate the join command again. Now I need to run this command in all of the worker nodes as a sudo. You can also copy the config file to your local system if you want your lo local system to communicate with the cluster. This will also help some IDs like Visual Tool Studio code to automatically recognize the cluster once the extension are installed. And it will also let you control some aspect of the cluster right from the ID. Uh, for that you have to go to uh, master node and then go to Q directory. There will be one file named config. This is a secret file, so oh, do not expose this file. Uh, you need to copy this file to a similar directory structure in your local machine.
I already had one old cluster so I'll be replacing this data with the new one now we can check the status right from our host machine so if your node status is coming as not ready it is fine as the cni or the container network interface is not ready in the next video we will install and configure calico and the status should change to ready see you in the next video please like this video and subscribe if this video was helpful